Sheriff deputies are sworn to protect and serve, but what happens when they get caught sending inappropriate text messages on the job? Our Jeannie Nguyen found out it cost the county $40,000, and she joins us now to explain what happened and what the sheriff's office has to say about it. Alex, the sheriff's office says it was their deputy, Patrick Walker, that got himself involved with a mental health patient while he was working. A long investigation led the sheriff's office to fire him. Now we have the text messages to show you how all of this unraveled. It started as a call for help and led Sacramento County Sheriff's Deputy Patrick Walker to Kaiser South Sacramento last July. Walker was called to check on a 21-year-old woman suffering from mental health issues. Shortly after the woman was released, Walker began texting her with his work cell phone, and that conversation quickly turned sexual. In these screenshots, Walker begins flirting with a woman and encourages her to come around South Sacramento, where he is stationed, claiming to be bored at work. The 40-year-old sent the woman this photo of himself in his uniform and admitted to her that he is married and old enough to be her dad. During these text conversations, the sheriff's office says Walker would send the woman explicit photos of himself while she would send him sexual videos of herself. The woman eventually threatened to report him for the inappropriate conversations, leading him to pay her $400 to keep her quiet. These screenshots show the woman tried demanding more money from him, but he claimed he didn't have any more money to give. By the end of August 2022, the woman's father reported Walker to the sheriff's office. Walker was placed on leave and during the department's investigation, he admitted he was wrong and said he would take it back if he could. He also added, at the time of these conversations, he didn't intentionally try to manipulate her and had intentions of meeting with the woman to go on dates. Ultimately, Walker was fired in December and the county settled with the woman by paying her $40,000. And Jeannie, I know you made several calls today, not only to the sheriff's office, but to the deputy's attorney and also the woman's attorney. What did they have to say? Alex, the attorneys for the deputy and the woman did not agree to speak with me today for this story, but a spokesperson for the sheriff's office did tell me Sheriff Jim Cooper condemns these actions and reiterated that Deputy Walker was terminated after the investigation was finished. All right, Jeannie, thank you so much. We appreciate it.